Hello and welcome to my life as a maiden. A trap's tale. Now I'm recording this again because I didn't like how the first episode went. So yeah, now I'm gonna start again. Dot dot dot. How every story begins. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Where am I? You're awake. You're at the hospital. Please don't make any sudden movements. At the hospital? What happened to me? You fell down a flight of stairs at your school. You have a concussion and severe broken bones. Oh, so that's what happened. Where is my son? Please, miss, calm down. He's right this way. Oh my goodness, my precious baby. Mum, I'm all right. I should have listened to you. I didn't know you were being bullied this badly. <sighs> the school the school called me and I told me that you were pushed down the stairs. Ah, God. That's right. Now I remember. A few guys and girls were making fun of me at the top of the stairs as usual. Because of my feminine appearance and interests. I have been bullied constantly since I was a child. It has gotten much worse since I entered high school. I don't know if I was intentionally pushed down, but I've been physically hurt many times before, so it's possible that someone wanted to see me broken. I don't want to go back. I can't take it anymore. Nobody likes me there, and even the teachers act like I'm the one at fault. Sounds like real life to me. How the teachers just like turn away and never... Never want to actually do anything about it when people are getting bullied. Please don't make me go back. I won't. You don't ever have to go back to that school again. Thank you. Well, that's, that's the beginning. Well, I hope that recorded okay, because for some reason that went down to 10 frames per second. Whilst the other time I recorded it, it was actually like 50 frames per second. So, I, I, I don't know what happened there. Anyway, dot dot dot. My injuries weren't too serious, so I fully recovered in a couple of months. True to her word, my mum did not ask me to return to my high school. Nearly a year after my hospital hospitalization, I was still at home while other people my age was, went to school. 
Although I wasn't just lazing around doing nothing, I did most of the housework. I felt bad about not graduating and moving on to university or college. So this game, yeah, you're just gonna get one year. Okay, what? what? I guess I'm going to a different public school, high school. But from what I've heard about the uh, the ones nearby, students going to them have the same mentality. They're assholes. But there's assholes at every school. I can't deal with that again. Not so soon after what happened. My parents can't move to a different city either because their jobs are important and they pay really well. They're both doing their dream jobs too. What's a dream job? <laughs> what is a dream job? Uh, I don't know anymore. For the spaceman. I couldn't ask them to move for me. It would have been too selfish. Eventually though, my mum had an idea for a school after seeing a different side of me. That is a boy! That is a trap! Sweetie! Hi, Mum! My, you've grown so beautiful in such a short time. Tis a trap, a very convincing trap! That is not the queen. Thank you, I'm happy to hear you say that, teenager. I want to name him. Since I no longer go to school, I don't have to hide my feminine side. I embraced it for the first time in my life. My hair was already a bit longer than most guys and now it's even longer. I haven't cut it except to get my current hairstyle. Why was that so difficult for me to read? I started wearing light makeup a few months ago. I was awful at it at first and spent so many hours watching videos. Mum helped me too, which was nice, but it was a little embarrassing. Yeah, yeah. The biggest change is that now... <laughs> yeah. The biggest change is that I now frequently wear female clothing. I've always admired how cute clothes looked for girls and looked and wondered how I would look in them. Whew. I was shut when I looked at myself in the mirror for the first time wearing girls clothing. That is a trap. That is a boy. That is a trap. <laughs> I've been called feminine and girly my entire life. But I've never thought I could come close to a girl beauty until then. When my dad and brother saw me in a skirt for the first time, they both freaked out. Dad was horrified and tried to talk me out of it. My brother wouldn't even look at me for week for two weeks. Y you know, you, you just gotta be happy with yourself. You do what makes you happy, you know? But also, this is an anime, an anime storytelling game. It needs their tropes, the waifus, the lollies, the traps, the yandere, and the incest. <laughs> Those are the tropes when it comes to anime. The Yandere. Oh, jeez. We need one of those. They're funny. Oh, actually, no. They're kind of really scary, actually. Yanderers. But we need them. To make a good anime. Mum was surprised, but she took it much better and even encouraged me by taking me shopping for more clothes. Is, is Dad still mad at you for helping me? Teenager. Angel. You can't be called that. T for trap. 
Aha, yes, but he'll get over it eventually. He does want you to finish school after all. Dot dot dot. Maria, what's wrong? Maria, that is my name now. That's my name now. I had to change it for four months ago when my mum proposed an idea for a school to me. Why am I reading that wrong? I'm reading what I want it to say. I had to change it four months ago when my mum proposed an idea for a school to me. I will go to Maiden Heart Academy, a Christian all-girl school. Mm. I don't know if they like. It's a Christian school. I don't think they'll like traps there. Nah, kind of sounds a bit dodgy. That it's it's well known for being very prestigious. Well, now I can't read. Prestigious, strict schools with well-mannered students. I wanted to reject the idea at first, but the more my mom explained about how nice the students are, the more I wanted to give it a try. She said being surrounded by positive people would be good for me. M my mental health. Mm, again, reading how I wanted it to go. I'm nervous. Can I really fit in with a school of females? I'm not transgendered. It's the trap! It is a boy. It is a trap. I changed my name to a girl's name, dressed like a girl, and like a lot of things girls typically do, but I still think of myself as a male. As male. Oh. That is a boy. That is a trap. A feminine male, but still male. They don't have any legal obligations to let someone like me go to the school there school there learn to read you're worrying too much the headmistress said it was fine when she sat down for a talk to get you to know you but she's your friend she wouldn't have agreed if you two were strangers maria dot 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 Everything is going to be just fine. You look and sound exactly like a girl. Not a thing I would like to hear if I was considered to call myself a male still. But, yeah, you, you know, whatever. Mm. Whatevs. That's a tasty treat that can't be beat. As long as you are careful, no one will discover your sex. I know where this game is going. I don't like lying. It's not lying. Nobody is going to ask you whether you are not... Whether you... Whether or not you are a girl. When you look like that. So you never have to answer. Look. I'm telling myself to look. Read. Stop making up my own lines. That logic sounds iffy. But okay. I, I can do this. That's the spirit. I'm going to miss you so much. I can't believe my baby is going to be living by her himself for the next two years. I was going to say herself. <laughs> that is a boy. That, that is, is a trap. Okay. Sub. I, I ain't, I ain't going to bother try making a sub sound. It was your idea. I thought to myself. I'll be sure to come home during Christmas break. Make sure you call at least once a week, okay? I want to know how things are going. If any good came out of being hospitalised, it is that my mum is a lot more concerned about my life. Before she dismissed my complaints about being bullied, saying I was over-exaggerating and not making enough of an effort to make friends. I will. I'll call you every weekend. Hell no. Right. I, I think I'll leave it here for an episode. So, 
Thanks for watching. My life as a maiden, a trap's tale. Please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you all in the next video.